each great change in life, a rebirth follows. I've been here before, but not as I am today. We are all a work in progress. I was born April 4th, 2003. No real complications that I could remember. Everyone welcomed me with open arms, strangers and friends alike. The beast that gave birth to me this time around smirked as I let out my first cry and left her womb without ever looking back. Her name was incarceration. I was beyond anxious to finally be able to breathe fresh air or wear regular clothes like a simple pair of jeans. They didn't have to be Sean John or Rockaway either. Some old school Levi's 501s would have done me just fine. I mean, here I am standing in the fields of freedom as I've learned and thought it to be for the last nine years. Nothing really mattered to me now, except the small things in life. The small things that would normally be overlooked. The small things that a convict would see with the lights off and a blindfold on. The small things. Even the flowers smelled nice, and I was free, but still a convict, ex or otherwise, I was a felon. Walk with me. This book is dedicated and meant for any and everyone that desires the understanding of how and why things go wrong, for the one who strives to live a new life, and what can be done to avoid the pitfalls. After nine years of incarceration in federal prisons throughout these United States, I was released to a world that didn't understand me any more than I understood it. Every hope, dream, and plan quickly went out the window and was replaced by the realities of whom and what my surroundings consisted of. Nothing was quite the same. As that Queensbridge, New York rapper Nas once sang, if thug changes and friends change and best friends become strangers. And still, I fought to be more than an ex-felon. It was a long battle, but I think I've won.